Injuries are a huge factor yet again. I think nine starters are out, included a bunch of the ones listed below. Um, if the Niners, the Niners are looking dominant right now, and it seems that either they could win the Super Bowl or fall short and blame injuries for the tenth year in a row. So, um, if that's the case, I don't think Kyle Shanahan's getting fired, but someone might have to. And if injuries are an issue, injuries are the reason this team doesn't win a Super Bowl, and that they miss another year of their Super Bowl window. They might need to look at this staff because they seem to have no solutions. And it seems like guys who come back from injury get injured again. And you got to keep wondering, why are they coming back so soon? Jimmy Ward, first play of the game. I mean, the, the, the training staff didn't decide to put him at nickelback and put him in the box. but And then Nick Bosa. So they said that Nick Bosa felt something in his groin before the game. He played anyway? Why? On turf? So, I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> will, will these guys be the fall guy the way that independent neurologist was the fall guy in uh, Miami? Well, you know, if this was like a one season issue, um, you know, it, 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 we could call it bad luck, but it's every single year yeah. since Kyle Shannon's took over the 49ers. So there's a yeah. pattern there. So there's something going on within the 49ers organization, whether it's Kyle Shanahan or uh, the team or the medical staff training staff we don't know what it is I, it's hard to it's hard to dial it in i think a lot of it is the way that they play football that's part of it but i'm really not sure but all i do know is when you see a pattern over yeah. several years um you know it's not just bad luck there's something going on and it needs to be figured out by people smarter than me you know i don't know what it is but it's something and if you remember this is the second training staff kyle shanahan has had he had someone else who put up that uh stupid hill um, yeah. fired him and I guess what I understand you're bringing in a new training staff and basically the, what you're saying is we have a problem we have an injury problem you fix it and I'm, I'm sure he had in his interview graphs and spreadsheets and all a very impressive presentation explaining how he was going to reduce injuries and it may not be his fault but he hasn't succeeded at all so bring in someone else yeah hear a new presentation Get a new strategy. This whole hire guys from the NHL and be forward thinking hasn't worked. Why don't you just find a team that's had some success in this area the last few years, the Rams are one of them, and hire someone from that staff. It's as simple as that. Do that because they haven't tried that yet. I mean, they got to keep trying with new medical staff and training staff, but uh, it's also like, you know, if you've had two separate ones, if you try a third and it's still happening, that, that, that tells that's you something point. else. That's a good yeah. point. Yeah. Maybe you don't want to put yourself... You don't want to make yourself the common denominator like that. Uh, <laughs> Steven says, I still don't understand why Jordan Mason isn't getting a few plays. Maybe Kyle is trying to keep a wrinkle for late in the season. Possible. Um, I still think there's a little bit of a troll in him where he hates criticism. He hates being told what to do. He doubles down on his mistakes. And he has to get to Jordan Mason on his time. You know what I'm saying? On his freaking time. Not because we said so. Yeah. But it'll make sense to him. That's the way I look at Kyle. You know what I'm saying? He doesn't like to be told what to do. He has a very hard time trusting rookies. You can tell that's a pattern yeah. with him as well. Like he just doesn't give rookies that much look, um, which I think you know could be a mistake in a lot of regard. That you know use that youth to your advantage. Yeah, they're not going to understand the game as much as other people, um, but you know they're still young. They got those fresh legs. You might want to give them a shot. I mean, the fact that look, Tevin Coleman paid off and uh, validated Kyle's decision to give him an opportunity. But the fact that Kyle gave Tevin Coleman an opportunity before Jordan Mason says it all. I mean, mm -hmm. the NFL had pretty much left Tevin Coleman's career for dead. He was a practice squad guy, and Kyle's like, oh, you know my system? Yeah. Great. You're up. Yeah. That's the guy I want. So I who saw, knows? Maybe Jordan Mason would be making plays left and right, too, if he'd be getting an opportunity. But Tevin got the opportunity. Good for Tevin. The, the one time that I think they played Jordan Mason, they gave him one run. It was seven yards. And then they, he was in on a passing down. That's and on the, on the passing down, he looked – like he was like a little lost. I saw Jimmy was telling him where to go, what to do. Okay. And, and maybe that, maybe it's just like, oh, you made a mistake. Get him out of here. I don't want a rookie anymore. You know, it's, it seems like that's Kyle's pattern. And I feel most like you rookies, guys a chance. That's how they get better. Most skill players on the Niners say it's really hard to play right away. Because just like learning the verb, the verbiage and knowing, hearing it on the field and knowing where to line up apparently is hard enough. It's mm -hmm. really hard. Yeah. So I'm sure he's never experienced anything like that. And Kyle, he literally will play people based on how well they know his scheme. Yeah. That's more important than talent to him. Seriously. Well, it, it, I mean, there's the best way to learn is to getting on the field, you know, and you, you, you saw he did that to Trey Lance, sat him a whole year when not, 
I, I mean, I think he, Trey Lance would have been a lot better off this year if he would have played him last year. And it's just – you see that every – I mean, look at Aaron Banks. Aaron Banks is doing pretty damn good, but he thought – we thought all of, all of us thought he was a bust because he couldn't touch the field last year. True. And, yeah. and it's really just – Kyle just didn't want him out there for whatever reason. I think there's a, a role for Jordan Mason on this team. Um, they need a short yardage back. It's not Wilson. It's not uh, Coleman. You don't want to run Wilson into the ground like that. You don't want him taking those high those high impact. I, make it Mason. He's a please. Beast, man. No, actually, hold on, Kyle. Don't ever give the ball to Jordan Mason, please. If you give okay. the ball to Jordan Mason, I will cry. He doesn't deserve it. Yeah. Play Marlon Mack. <laughs> Does Jimmy throw the interception instead next week? I I hope not. I mean, I'm the not rooting for him defense, to. Yeah. We'll talk about them, but they're not very good. So hopefully not. Jimmy B's KC all aboard PSJ train. I mean, you, you can do that. You can be on that train. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not joining that train. 